Welcome back. In the first video we said we'll be going through our key stages. Now stage one being web development. Now in web development we'll be covering the popular scripting language PHP used to develop dynamic websites such as online stores, um, social networks uh, and so on. Uh, most websites today are built in PHP so it's a very useful language to know. You've got MySQL, which works hand in hand with PHP. MySQL is just a database, uh, a place to store information for later use. And later on, we'll be going more depth into MySQL. HTML is just a way to format the page. Uh, if you think of it like a bit of Word or Excel and so on, you justify that the page, you put um, the fonts a certain size in the center, create a table. Um, it's a very static. Um, layout uh, and it's also used for basic websites um, just a static website or just the pictures and and so on uh, it's just a good way to start out but we'll be covering that with PHP cascaded style sheets or CSS for short uh, is used to create a bit of order to the site uh, certain fonts uh, where the menu will be placed uh, uh, aligning the text in a certain way, using a background color throughout, uh, so it's all in a, in a uf uniform manner. JavaScript is a uh, is a very good scripting language, uh, front end to the user, also in, in integrated into HTML, uh, and that's used to create a bit of uh, dynamism to the site, uh, like having a bit of like a scrolling. Uh, logos rollover effect on on pictures. If you look at Yumi City, for example, you actually see on the on the left side I've got logos, and as you scroll over the logos, they change the color from gray to blue and so on. And then you've got uh, something here called Smarty Engine. Now Smarty Engine is a templating, a PHP templating system. Now it's supposed to make life a lot easier but we'll be looking at that. It's a very popular templating system uh, used on most of the, the new up-and-coming sites now. Codeigniter is a framework. Now frameworks, if you think of a, if you're building a, a, a you know a, a property or something and you've got scaffolding and you've got a um, certain foundation in place and so on, it makes, it's a, it's a very useful um, thing to, to use when you're building a very complex um, application. But when you're building a very simple um, PHP uh, website, just one or two pages or something like that, it's okay. You can you can do without um, CodeIgniter. CodeIgniter is used for more complex, large-scale projects. It would simplify the code and it would make life a lot easier. FTP here and IDE. FTP is short for File Transfer Protocol. There's another transfer protocol called HTTP, which is called Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Those two are used to transfer uh, information or website data uh, to the user's um, client computer. File transfer protocol is used to upload your website, download the website and so on. So you can work on the site and then after you've finished all the, the files and so on, you upload it into your server. And uh, HTTP is used to uh, for the viewing purpose uh, and you actually see it a lot when, when you're typing um, a, a, a website, you put HTTP and then forward slashes and then the, the whole site www.humicity.com and so on. Okay, so that's very in a summary way. This is just the basics, and we'll be covering these uh, key areas in more detail as we go along in the course.